Hey guys, Jonathan Brown Menzies coming at you from Legacy Place in Dedham, Massachusetts. Got another business trip here in Boston, the morning off. I don't have a meeting till this afternoon, so I wanted to make some good use of the time. I'm like, ah, oh, what am I gonna do? Then I saw my coworker with a couple of new books. He's like, yo, you gotta check out the Amazon bookstore. Amazon, like amazon.com, they have a bookstore. Actually, it's not in Boston. It's about 20 minutes outside of Boston. I'm gonna show you guys this train schedule on the Franklin line and you take the train from South Station in Boston to Dedham Corporate Center. That's the name of the stop, Dedham Corporate Center. It took about 20 minutes and then probably another 10 minutes to walk to this mall. This is the mall I think called Legacy Place and it's kind of random that Amazon would put their bookstore out here it's definitely tough to get to it's the suburbs you need a car to have easy access to this place oh this one's gonna let me pass thank you very much ma'am uh jeff bezos if you're listening put the store on newberry street god one of the most pedestrian friendly streets in america and he puts it out here in the middle of nowhere in a suburban mall but that's okay i do like amazon.com but i also like traditional bookstores i didn't give up on traditional bookstores one thing i like about about traditional bookstores is you go in read a chapter flip around and what happens oftentimes I'll be reading a chapter and I'll get so into the book I'll say oh I got to get this and I'll end up buying it right then and then I'm a pretty quick reader so I'll read it you know within a day or two after that and Amazon they do give you that preview but it's just not enough sometimes just clicking through on the preview the sample that they give you it's just not as good as doing it the old-fashioned way and feeling the book and flipping around where you want you know when you're looking on the what's it called the fire or whatever and it's like oh this page is off limits but i do overall like amazon as a company because it's made it much easier to find hard to find books let's see my first time here yard house that's a restaurant jank they got some interesting stores h&m express looks like a mexican place movie theater kind of hidden in there oh it, it keeps on going over there so that's it guys i just wanted to check out this amazon because i've never been to an amazon bookstore oh and one more thing i wanted to add amazon obviously they don't break out numbers for all their units but there's a lot of speculation that the amazon bookstore is running at a loss they run these things kind of i don't know for marketing or research or whatever but they're not profitable but nevertheless it is nice to see Amazon building a physical presence because I do like bookstores. The more bookstores, the better. And I just read an article recently that said independently owned bookstores are on the upswing again. There's more of them opening up. So here we are, Lucky Brand, Carhartt, Victoria's Secret, It's Sugar. I never heard of that store, It's Sugar. So there are more and more bookstores opening up. I think people, especially the millennial generation, the younger generation that maybe didn't even have a lot of experience in a bookstore ever, they're starting to embrace that so that's a positive sign so guys i'm gonna keep walking around and try to track down this amazon store and i will get back to you once i find it guys jonathan brown Menz is back at you on the scene amazon books in legacy place mall dead in massachusetts just took a few notes the store itself is 5800 square feet it's got all kinds of books the full monty children's books fiction non-fiction food sports i haven't been in there yet that's going to come next just reviewing things now interestingly the books they're all facing frontwards there's no bookends like you'd find at a Barnes and Noble or, or something like that and each book has a review underneath it you can see the star rating so that's pretty cool I guess you can see the feedback not that that's really helpful because I've read a lot of books that got terrible reviews and I really like them but I guess it can be helpful if you're buying a gift or something like that so let's see what else did I want to say they stock 5700 books this is all from a WGBH article that I read online that they did an interview with the manager so 5700 books it doesn't seem like a huge amount of books but i don't know i guess it's mostly their top sellers and what they do is they have this kind of algorithm based on clicks and purchases from the area that's what they're going to stock the books with what's popular around here uh what else did i want to say oh another thing is they obviously have kindles and you get to try out the kindles here 
a lot of people dropping off books to return so i guess that's convenient too if you live in the area and store hours it looks like 10 to 9 sunday 11 to 6 and the coffee shop it's not an amazon branded coffee shop i thought it was going to be amazon branded but it's pete's coffee which is okay because their coffee is not terrible that's what i'm going to do too today get a cup of tea in the amazon store so right now i'm going to go in take a browse my first experience in an amazon bookstore Nice big selection here guys and it is nice to see the reviews the cover art really makes a big difference when the books are displayed like this you can see the kindles all the sections here home and garden business science and nature over there they even have gifts for mom because mother's day is coming up so i do really like it so far a lot of coffee table books here. You'd never know. It's a smaller selection. It still does feel like a regular bookstore. The hard hat, look at that. Now, there are a few books. Wow, who moved my cheese? That has been around a long time. Look at that, 3,657 stars. So it's not just brand new books, because who moved my cheese? God, that's been around 15, 20 years maybe. And then the Tony Robbins books. One of these is brand new. I think it's uns unshakable. It's the brand new one. This one is a couple of years old. Tony Robbins has 4.4 and 4.5 stars. Let's go to another section, guys. Check that out, guys. Videoocracy, a book about YouTube. If anybody's read that, let me know how it is. Google Analytics. This is still business and money. Like a lot of these books, Flash Boys, one of my favorites. And to show you that they don't discriminate, Donald Trump book featured prominently, even though there's a little bit of beef going on between Trump and Jeff Bezos. But not surprisingly, a book about Amazon is on the end cap here. I don't know if you can see that. The Everything Store, Malcolm Gladwell, Tribe of Mentors. And that is 4.5 stars. I've been wanting to get this book. I'm actually going to try to check on the price of Tribe of Mentors. And I may get that today because the four-hour work week really changed my life. So that's the other thing. You, I don't know if you need a smartphone. You can find the price of books by, I guess, taking it, bringing it up to the front counter, and asking them how much it is. Or you can just scan it with your smartphone and it'll tell you how much this book is at this location which can be a little bit of an inconvenience if you have a flip phone but there are ways around it and the cover artwork really catches your eye a lot more here than in a place like barnes and noble which i still love barnes and noble but i also really love this store too so it's a great addition to the bookstore scene as far as i'm concerned very creative they have their own unique outtake on what a bookstore is and should be and I welcome that now I believe there are only a few of these around there's this one in Massachusetts uh, Dedham Massachusetts there's another one I think north of Boston and then a couple more but not a lot hopefully this is something that they're gonna expand they also have some kiosks like this if you want to check the price if you don't want to use your smartphone or go up to the front desk so we're going to test it out on the death of expertise. See how this works. And wow, look at that. Prime members pay $14.42. So it tells you to save 42%. Not a Prime member, $24.95. So I like that. It's a mix of the traditional bookstore experience with high tech. And then you get all your amazon electronics over here and the nice thing is if you have a question on how this stuff works maybe you, you don't know what the fire is all about you're a newbie when it comes to tablets and stuff like that uh, if you have a question you can ask the staff here to teach you how to use it and they will that's another nice advantage decent history section a hundred books to read in a lifetime i really like that wow i see some classics in the mix very nice reading writing so 
it's funny. I thought I was going to walk in here and say, oh, my God, I've seen all these books. You know, they're all the, the most hyped up books. But I'm seeing a lot of things that I never would have seen if I didn't come into this store. So I think they've done a great job with this bookstore. And I would like to see a lot more of them. I'd like to see a lot more bookstores in general. Not only Amazon, not only Barnes & Noble, but also secondhand shops, independent shops, comics too. Oh, I'm going to sign off here, guys. So guys, just going to wrap it up here. Amazon Books from the outside of the Legacy Place Mall. Great experience, really nice bookstore. 10 out of 10 if I had to give it a ranking. The only thing I could deduct a little bit of credit is uh, the location. It's kind of far outside of Boston. Like I said, you gotta take an MBTA train to get to Dedham Corporate Center. That's the name of the stop. Then you gotta walk about 10 minutes to this mall. So it's not really a pedestrian friendly place. Once you get here, it is. This is actually a beautiful strip mall with a nice high-end shops, good restaurants. L.L. Bean, I really like that place. Uh, there's a another cafe, Cafe Nero over there. J.P. Licks, that's a Boston ice cream place. The location could be better. Like I said, Jeff Bezos, check out Newberry Street. If this place was on Newberry Street, I think you'd get a lot more foot traffic. Otherwise, I really do like the store concept. They've done a great job with the store itself. Everything about the store is perfect. And I got a lot of ideas about stuff that I'm going to go home and order on Amazon that I probably wouldn't have discovered otherwise. So it really is great. Guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Leave a comment. I respond to all comments. And if you really like this video, please subscribe. Thanks, guys. Till next time.